Dr. Ake reviews Netflix's The Open House. One sentence review. Not well executed at all, and unfortunately I can see that in better hands, this might have been something good. Writing gets a 6 out of 10 from me. I'll explain why in the spoiler review. Beginning gets a 4. Uh, the ending gets a 5. Characters, a 5. Performances, a 5. Timing gets a 4. Sound gets a 2. Score, a 2. Visuals get a 4. Believability is a 5. Relatability is a 5. Editing gets a 3. Antagonist, a 4. Twist gets a 5. This movie did not make me cry, although the scene where, spoilers, uh, the scene where the mom and son argue and the son says he wishes she had died did actually have some emotional impact. So if someone was going to cry or tear up from this movie, maybe it would be from that, if you're invested. Uh, message gets a 6. Production value gets a 3. Overall enjoyability, a 3. Uh, Rewatchability slash recommendability, a 4. And my overall thoughts. This movie really was just run-of-the-mill, unoriginal, and predictable for most of it. It pains me that I could see that this having been... I, I can see that this could have been something, but they just didn't follow through with it. Like, there, there are some hints of a good, uh, you know, hints of good writing, uh, but it was just overshadowed by the bad writing, directing, effects, score, sound, cinematography. I could go on. Uh, it, it just hurts that I can see this having been something so much better. What's worse than seeing a bad movie is seeing a bad movie that has potential hidden and hinted at it within. Rating from 1 to 10 gets a 3. This concludes my short review of Netflix's The Open House. If you want to see my full in-depth spoiler review, click the link. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you have any suggestions for future reviews, let me know those as well. Thank you for watching. Feel free to share this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!